Okay, today a new kind of video. I shaved myself, looks completely different. I'm younger now, yes. But today I'm going to show you what is pretty much the best browser. So which one is the easiest to install, has the most speed, this means loading in pages, has the most features, and which one I would recommend. If you're a gamer, an all-time user, or just someone who doesn't understand the browser at all. So let's get started with the first one. So first of all, I have to download them all and I have to use a browser for this. I've actually installed Brave. That's because I've done this in the video, how to optimize your own windows, Ravi OS, and of course, Chris Titus too. With every single browser, I'm just going to start at the Google page, which is most common. Let's start at our all time favorite Chrome. So I'm just going to type Chrome and now we see Google Chrome, the fastest browser. Uh, we will see. For the rest, let's click here on the download button. There you go, download Chrome. We're going to save it to the own downloads folder. There you go. I'm just going to click it on here and let's see how fast it downloads. It's not like they're asking a lot of options, which is very easy and actually great. It does take a while. It's starting up automatically, which I really love. There you go. Sign in to Chrome. And you can also not sign in, which I'm actually going to do. There you go, default browser. No, I don't want that. Skip. Uh, no thanks. Oh, this takes a moment. Hey, got it. Yes, here we go. Now we go to Google Chrome. Google.com. Okay, this is Dutch again. I'm so sorry. Let's go reject them all. And there you go. We're back at Google.com. Actually, because I have a browser now, I can actually remove Brave. Let me close. Let me close it for a moment. So next one is going to be Opera GX. I think you also know this browser. It's actually a gaming browser. So, so let's click right here on Opera GX Gaming Browser. After this, we're just going to click on accept all and then click on download Opera. And now it should be starting up and going left below on the screen because that's Chrome. Is it gonna do anything? It should be easy to install. I don't understand how this works. Why is my download not starting? I don't know. I'm just going to press F5, which actually most people don't know about. But if you click left above, you should be able to refresh. Nothing is happening. I'm not seeing any pop-ups. I don't know what to do. So I don't know what that is. It's maybe, maybe it's Google Chrome. It, it's probably Google Chrome. I'm giving that the blame right now. So I'm just going to start up again. Oh, a sponsor. It's actually Dutch translated, which is very weird. Let's go download Opa GX. Come on. Yeah, it does, I don't see it. Try again. This connection is not private. I can't trust that. What's going on? Okay. Um, I want to go back to safety. Now I'm just going to click on advanced because I have to keep going. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Unsafe. Access blocked by Eric Ah, That's my own DNS. Hold up. It's on my main system. Not even on the virtual machine. But by the way, a DNS is a place where your connection first goes to before you get access to the internet. And mine is uh, connected to this weird numbers right here. So I'm just going to disable that on my main system. Ah, I want to download Opera GX. Download Opera GX. Come on. It still says not secure, which is really weird. Why? Right? I don't know. Okay, try again. It's still blocked. I think it's blocked actually. Come on. Ah, look. Right above. There we have it. It's downloaded. But it was because of my, my network, by the way. It's secured. So... But yeah, hey, accept and install. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Accept. Seems easy, right? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, now it's going to take a moment. Extracting, which is great. Yeah. Maximize your performance. Okay, it's loading automatically. Amazing. Looking good. Okay, gamers, you chose a nice browser. I can't lie. So here we have the tabs, of course. Um, yeah, to clean it, uh, to optimize it. Um, great. But for a beginner, I wouldn't recommend this. But for a gamer, oh, <laughs> that's great. So it's installed pretty quick, just like Google Chrome, was only my network that had some problems. But it doesn't matter, it's secure. So I'm just going to type google.com again. What's gonna happen? It's going to be Dutch again, which I don't understand. Because literally, I have region settings to English, and it still bugs me. I hate it. It takes it from my network somewhere. It's still Dutch. A moment above all. Which actually means a moment, please, in Portuguese. English and United States. Uh, Kingdom, I mean. Yes. Uh, accept all. Yes. Okay, so the next one is going to be the Arc browser, which I think you don't know about, but it's a productivity browser. So I'm just going to type it right here. There you go. Oh. Da -da -da -da. Arc browser. 
which is actually a browser I use myself. Oh, you wanna see proof? Hold up, one moment. There you go. I use Arc for my own project. This is ClickUp, it's actually an application which I use to maintain my company's productivity. You're not working? I can see it. Let's do the Arc browser. Download Arc for Windows. Seems very easy. Okay, we want to save this. Yes, no problem. Okay, double click. Nice, good. Seems easy. Now that's startup. Yeah, downloading, preparing your new browser. And this was all a test, by the way. If you don't understand how to install something, it should be easy. Don't say this, don't say this. Make it simple. Don't make it customized. People will go crazy. That's why it's part of the three things I'm going to test today. So stay tuned. And while we're waiting, make sure you like the video. If you enjoy it, of course. I still have way more to show you. And thank you so much for the support I have been getting on this channel. This is the reason why you have changed a lot of things. And we have started a tech support, which is in progress. That's why I have my community post, which I'm actually uh, posting a lot because I want to know what your opinions are. This is our community based YouTube channel, by the way. So everything you think is great. We're also going to think that's great. I'm going to test it out for you guys. So for the rest, here we have meet the internet again. Very intriguing, right? So let's click here on the continue button. And then we have, we have to create an account, which is already a limitation by the last step I'm going to take in this video. Of course, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I have to create an account. I already have one and I know how it is secured. So it's a good browser, it's good for productivity, but this is such a big downside that you have to create an account, which of course doesn't mean I can't log in, but still here we have the browser and you can uh, see the basic setup they have. Here are the basics. Nobody would be able to know how this browser works. It's not the same as everything browser. Everything is to the left. Here above we have the URL, which is actually normally your search bar. Yeah, here we have Arc Basics, which is a lot. It's already a whole bookmark you're not going to use. It's great for knowing the basic steps, but it's not great for someone who wants to start at the beginning of using a web browser. So here I'm going to search for google.com. It looks like this. This is Arc Browser, by the way. Translating it again. Thank you very much, Dutch. Amazing that it's connected to my network like that. The next one is going to be the most secure browser or actually very close connected to the most secure one. It is called Brave. So let's see how easy it is to browse to put you first, which is very important. Let's see what's going to give us Get Brave. Thank you very much. It's going to download Brave. Left above, there you go. Just click on it. It should start the exe file, which stands for executable, by the way. Um, it's not. <laughs> it just takes you to the downloads folder, which is great. I could have also right clicked. I'm just gonna double click here, it's no problem. No downsides, right? It's just a little bit more work for someone who doesn't understand it. It's all a fresh install and it's really complicated. I'm not saying it's a bad browser, I'm saying it's complicated for old people that wouldn't understand this at first. It's all a lot of work, which we want to, of course, skip, make it easy. Oh yeah, and talking about easy, by the way, we have a project here or a program on the phone, which is called Easy. It stands for education access simplified for you actually we're posting uh we're going to post courses there but all of our videos are connected there to hold the phonus cachet bang everything is there the phone is how to for the tech the phone is wellness for the health tips the phone is lingua and math is of course for the languages and it's all down below it's actually the first link we're still updating it of course but we have three skill lathes scale based levels which are the explorer which is the beginner the navigator which is the intermediate and the master which is the we still have to make videos about that the most videos are explorers you're an explorer trying to figure out what is really the best browser but for the rest here we go brave was also very easy to install no problems was only the browser arc that stopped us for a moment. It was all very easy to install. We're almost back at the circle. I just have to install one more browser, which is pre-installed on your Windows system. Oh my God, he is installing Microsoft Edge. 
today I am. So let's go and download Microsoft Edge. Which actually isn't even a bad browser. Dutch. Oh, I fixed it. Yes, I did. Try Edge. That is what we're going to do. Open Microsoft Edge. Yeah, seems simple. It's not too bad, you know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and now? Okay. Oh, it took some time, but here we go. Downloading Microsoft Edge. There you go. It's starting. Uh, Confirm. I don't know. Oh, what's it doing? I don't know. A new tab opened. Oh my God. It just made it itself a default. Okay, I'm going to close that. Ah, oh, restore pages. Um... Yeah, it's all Dutch again. Oh, there you go, we're in Ireland now, but there you go, Microsoft Edge. By the way, these are the most used browsers in the whole world. You can actually put it in order. There you go, this is pretty much the order. The reason why Google Chrome is the biggest is because it's talked about a lot. It has a lot of functionality, for example, an extensive uh, library of extensions. So you can install your own password manager for example and it's always accessible it has cross-platform sync which means that on your phone you have the same bookmarks and saves all across all your devices it is highly optimized for speed especially for youtube gmail and all google services microsoft edge is greatly integrated with windows which means it has more performance on windows itself by the way, if you didn't know yet, Microsoft Edge also has a split screen button right here. And then you can, for example, type google.com or anything else and you have two screens in once. And yeah, it also has the option for vertical tabs if you would prefer that. Of course, Opera GX is highly focused on gaming performance, which means we have these settings right here and they are to control your own browser. How much is going to use, for example, CPU, RAM, I can actually see how much it is using here. And you can see that on your system, for example, Arc is using some in the background. We can limit our own network, limit the RAM. We can uh, hard limit, uh, memory limit will not go over this if you don't have a lot of memory. Uh, CPU limiter, everything like that, just to make sure that your browser doesn't use a lot in the background while you're gaming. Then we have Brave. I actually think that Brave is an awesome browser. You would think like, yeah, but what is Brave? You know Firefox, right? This is pretty much Firefox with a lot more security. For example, we have automatic shields up. If you install Brave, you're going to have automatic ad blocker. And by the way, it blocks the ads here. I'm not going to talk about that, of course not. And it's all automatic. And of course, Opera GX also has it. But what makes Brave the most private browser is that if you click on these three uh, Hamburg icons, Right here, you would see the option to browse with Tor. You will be asking yourself, what is Tor? Well, Tor is going to connect you to the Tor network, which is the most secure network there is. It's going to hide your own IP. This means hide your own device in all networks, which means you pretty much have your own free VPN. If I search for my IP address here, I am not scared you're going to see my IP address because I know it's not my IP address. It's going to take a moment because we're connected to a big server with a lot of things and it takes a moment to load there. So here we have my IP address. You are interested, right? Here you go. This is my intro. What is this country? Okay. Where are we? I want to know this. We are in... Yeah, where are we? Ukraine or something? I don't know. What? What is this country? Where am I? Romania, okay, we're still in Europe or something? Romania? And then we have this. It's next to Italy in between Romania. I actually don't know what this country is. There you go, I have it here. It's Serbia, right? It is Serbia? Oh no, it's below. This is Greece or something. I don't know, but I'm not in my country. So that's what I'm talking about. Brave is the most secure browser. Yeah, close it. By the way, if you go to these settings and do privacy and security, delete browsing data, you can actually turn on on exit. You can turn on to remove everything here. Maybe not your password. If you want to clear everything, you close your browser. Very useful, right? Like the video if you think that's great. Oh my God, what is this browser? What is it? It's the most productive browser, by the way. It has an intuitive UI design. I'm actually promoting that from the website. Don't blame me. But for the rest, if you click Control S right here, oh my god, if we're on a page, there you go. If we go to Google and it's all Dutch again, amazing, you love Dutch now, I don't know. If you 
press Control S, it will close it and it is full screen. Let's say I watch YouTube. Let's watch some YouTube videos here. For example, if you search for the founders, I don't know, old video. Still here we got IT support, which is another channel, but it's only for, I don't know, not that good. Don't, don't subscribe there, please. The main channel, here we go. Oh my God, such a beautiful video. If I want to watch a video and I have theater mode on, you will see it like this. I think that's great. It is pretty much full screen. If you press Ctrl S again, I got my own tabs. If I uh, swipe it there, it's there. Uh, you want this tab to be permanent. Here you go. It is now... God, just do it. Okay. You want it to be permanent. It's right there. You want it to be over here. There's no problem. You want to get it to move to a new space. There you go. And you call the space YouTube. I don't know. Here we go. Uh, left the below you have buttons for your spaces and organization it's the most productive browser and that's the reason why i use it and yeah change the theme color oh, rainbow. And i'm not gonna <laughs> sing any copyrighted music here so yeah we have workspaces built in collaboration inbuilt note taking only mac os by the way it is coming but here we go all the browsers pretty much but which one is the fastest i just realized that the order was wrong i first did features not speed but hey it's the last part of the video let's go browser benchmarks other work seems interesting right oh my god a speedometer for my browser let's test it let's see what's gonna happen my god i love tabs opening oh, don't be scared subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because um spending some time in these videos now especially windows i know i know you all love windows you all watching my videos now I, thank you so much really so yeah i'm gonna continue making these videos like i think it's very useful i have too much knowledge of this and i have to share it yeah, it's going pretty fast i guess that google chrome is doing very well by the way the videos are now a little bit longer i know it's almost about 20 minutes or 30 minutes I know, but I want to share so much information with you guys. I think that's very important. If I throw out as much information as I can, you'll have a lot more useful video. If I would make a lot of cuts, it will never be a good video. Because it seems like I'm doing it with AI. And like, boom, 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 boom. No breaks. But I want to give you some breaks. Give you some time. Maybe we can put this in a background. I don't know. But I'm just telling you what I think, what my opinion are in the experience I have as IT support and all that. <laughs> so here we have it. It's an 11. Good job. It's better than a 10, right? Oh my God, we're going to the next one. Good day, Mr. Microsoft Soft. Micro, oh God, so bad. Microsoft Edge, let's go. No, I don't want to log in. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. No, I don't want to share anything. Get out of my face. Let's go start the benchmark. Start the test. Gonna take a moment, but be right back. Welcome to being a T support on YouTube. By the by the way, if you have any tech problems, please let us know down below. We're directly going to help you with it, and because we're building an IT support or tech support, we're going to have to improve on a lot of things, and we want the best system for you guys. So while that is still in progress, you can easily contact us down below. And we'll directly react to you within a few days, of course. Oh my god, Microsoft Edge, why? 7.41. My god, guys, this is very exciting because I didn't know the Microsoft Edge was slower than Chrome. I have to know that. Fuck you. Blur that. Okay, Opera GX, let's go. You gamers out there, I have the best browser, I have the best browser. Okay, we're going to see it. I have a benchmark right here. What do you think about that? There you go. I'm going to start it on your favorite browser. If you play Minecraft, you gotta like the video. Otherwise, I'm blowing up your house. I know you spent a lot of time on that, right? I don't think you want the creeper spawning in your build. Like the video. Okay, for the rest. Your favorite browser. I was just looking because if I recorded this whole video, I mean, if I thought I recorded this whole video and it's all fake, I've cried. Sometimes I do have that problem. This is like the ultimate video to prove all of you guys wrong. And even me. I've never done a benchmark like this. I swear. Oh my god. Gamers. I don't have any limiters. You can say whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The limiters are off. The limiters are off, bro. The limiters are off. There is no limiter here. So hey. Chrome is still in the league. But hey. 
it's a lot better than Microsoft Edge. Brave, are you so brave? Yes, you are. And you dare to show your own history with me. Go for your browser history right now. No, no, don't share. YouTube doesn't like, but let's go. <laughs> the Brave is going to be tested today. And I'm actually going to be really surprised on what Arc browser is going to be, because it's the browser that I use for many reasons. By the way, I've actually used all of these browsers myself. I uh, started with Google Chrome, just like everybody. Then I started to play with Microsoft Edge and I saw that it had some features like the split screen, the integration with Windows and all that. And I was like, it's pretty much the best browser, I guess. It's very simple. Internet Explorer was oh, so bad in the time. And I, I, I know that you wanted to go to Chrome then. It's believable. Really. So then I pretty much switched to Opera GX, I tried out Brave, also the original Tor browser, which I'm displaying on the screen right now, it is pretty much the original browser. But hey, 10.4 for Brave is so good, and by the way it's all based on Chromium if I'm right, that is the engine we're all running on, and Brave is doing really good. You'll see me install all of these fresh. So don't say anything in the comments like, oh, your thing is different. No, it's all the same. You saw me install it in the beginning of the video. If you happen to skip that part. Now my favorite browser is going to be tested. I'm actually scared. <laughs> but hey, I'm going to tell you the results at the end of the video if you happen to skip through it. So don't worry about it. My favorite browser is going to be tested. So here we go. <laughs> browser benchmark. And um, you could say like, oh, these tabs are open. By the way, these are not open. This is ARC, these are bookmarks or something. So it's really different here. Let's start the test <laughs> on my favorite browser. So I'm scared. It's actually doing very good. I think I just didn't show something a moment ago. <laughs> I hope that I switched the display, but we will see. Oh my God, my favorite browser. No, that hurts me. Okay, throw in the drum rolls, please. You ready for it? The top three fastest browsers are at place number three, Opera GX. Congrats yourself, you have done it. Amazing, right? Gaming browser, very good. The second place of fastest browser is Brave. L for you. But still, it's a good secure browser and I really recommend it. It's great. The number one is actually the one I didn't expect because I thought that Opera GX is going to be the best browser, the fastest, everything. But hey, Google Chrome is the best browser. With all the extensions it has, with many features and everything, the whole community behind it, it's sadly the best browser. It actually scored an 11, Brave scored at 10.4, and Opera GX scored at 9.71. And then after that, we have my favorite browser, Arc Browser 8.67 and then we have Microsoft Edge at the last, which means it's not even the fastest browser, 7.41. So I actually want to congratulate Google Chrome for being the fastest browser according to speed uh, analytics of the benchmark. And I think it's pretty much true. For example, we want to go to the Samsung website, all of Samsung, of all the devices of Samsung. Here you go, it loads, it's all Dutch now. Get out of here. Okay, translate, but it is the best browser pretty much. So your question is going to be, hey, but which browser are you going to recommend? Well, I'm going to tell you something. The browser I recommend for all gamers out there is still going to be Opera GX. It has a lot of uh, gaming compatibilities and of course the limiters, which means you can limit your RAM on your browser. For example, if you leave a lot of tabs open, you can easily limit your RAM, which you can easily show right now. If you open the browser, to the left is GX uh, control, one above, thank you. And now we can limit the RAM right here. If you click here, you can easily limit it here by, let's say, 2 gigabytes. 2 gigabytes super enough for at least, I guess, um, 8 browsers. It says that it's bad, but if you have a very bad machine, I sh I sh you should do this. If you have a little bit better machine, you can go to 4 gigabytes, which is um, one fourth of my system, by the way. So you should be using one fourth of your system uh, if you want to use your browser. The best browser I recommend for all beginners out there is really the Brave browser. The reason for this is because it's a pretty fast browser. It is actually on the top two. 
and it is not Chrome, um, and it is because it's very secure. I know that a lot of people get hacked and all those things, and the best thing about uh, the Brave browser, by the way, is if I'm right, you can actually install um, the extensions from Google Chrome itself. So let's say I go here for Dark Reader. Uh, you can easily see that it should be able to be installed. There you go. I can click here on Add Brave, and now it's going to be installed. This means that it has most Chrome capabilities. And it is way more secure. It has an automatic Shields are up feature, which is the ad blocker. Like I said, it blocks pretty much all the ads, so no one can spam you and be very annoying. You can see how much you have saved and everything. You have a reward system, which you don't have to connect to. Uh, talk, which is private video calling. It has a lot of these secure features. And that's why I think it is pretty much the most uh, beginner friendly browser. Wherefore, I mean that it is the browser I recommend to older people. And it is uh, the most secure. That's why. The best overall browser is going to be Google Chrome. I guess it's pretty logical. But the reason why it's overall the best is because most people uh, are on YouTube, Gmail and everything like that. A lot of people are on Microsoft, but Microsoft is such a bad browser with the speed. It does have nice integrations and all, but Google Chrome clearly was the fastest browser. Therefore, it is the best overall browser of all of them. The reason for this is... Yes, A, it is the fastest browser. It has great integrations. For example, I already start on Google. Everybody uses Google. Here you go. Oh, you think your, cal your calendar, everything is here. It's so easy. And if you want to link it, it has sync capabilities, which Brave does have, but not with an account, not on your own phone and everything like that. And yeah, you just turn on sync here. You connect it to an account. It's exactly how I manage the YouTube channels, by the way. There you go, my nice eating cat background. Uh, when I search for Chrome right here, you would see automatically all the channels I'm running right now. Uh, you can subscribe to them all. Thank you very much. But still, these are the ways I manage it. I just click on the phone is how to, which still needs to be updated by the icon on my browser. It's broke now, doesn't matter. Uh, but here I click on it. I have my whole management system of the phone is how to. When I search it up again, I have the phone is itself, which is the website, the email, the, the whole caching bang, everything, you know? So if I just click on it, it's all open. It is the fastest browser uh, to say with the browser benchmark test. And I have everything right here, which I need to manage my own websites and all. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I've been making a lot more interesting videos just because I know the niche I should be fighting for. You guys love to know more about Windows and how to manage your own system. I love to talk about these topics and to help you be most productive of the best uh, software and uh, how to optimize the speed of your Windows. If you want fast to Windows, by the way, you should check out this video. RevOS combined with Brightest Test Tool is amazing. It's going to optimize your speed by at least three times. It's going to remove memory cost at least 40%. I'm not lying, it's really true. And it is great. You should really check out this video right now. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. It's a video about everything about the browsers we use these days. Of course, there's Firefox, but I used Brave as an alternative just because it's made by the same team, if you didn't know it yet. Brave is way more secure than Firefox and it has a combination with Tor. Like I said, Tor is the most secure, not, in, not even quotation marks, no. It is the secure browser, the most secure, and it's integrated in Brave. You don't even have to use it and it's still an option. So I really highly recommend you use Brave just test it out for a few days. You would see that it has a template for browser benchmark. Probably not in your computer. It's always going to be different. But that means it's the top two browser in speed. But for the rest, I want to thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Adios. I've been talking for an hour. Oh my god.